And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Well, you know you make me wanna shout. service announcement. Carry out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gobblers. Please welcome to the stage your MC for the evening, the voice of the Hokies, Mr. John Laser. Bring them out, bring them Good out. evening, Hokies, bring and welcome to the Gobblers here. here at the fabulous Moss Art Center. As you know, this is the most exciting night of the year, and that is because tonight, we celebrate the absolute very best of Virginia Tech athletics, and of course, that is each and every one of you. And because of your outstanding exploits throughout the year, we've got a massive night planned for you tonight. So let's get that started. Let's get good and loud as we welcome a phenomenal friend of Virginia Tech athletics and your DJ for tonight, DJ Tempo. What's up, Blacksburg? If you're ready to make some noise at the Gabblers, let's hear it! All right, that's where we need you all throughout the night, big and loud. DJ Tempo will provide the soundtrack, but we're also going to have videos. We're going to have live entertainment. We're, of course, going to have awards, and we're going to have some of your teammates, friends, and familiar faces looking uncomfortable at times right up here on this main stage. It's all a part of the Gobblers, and I must remind you as we get started, this is all about you tonight which means that you need to help celebrate you by having fun. We want you loud. We want you to party spirit all throughout the night because tonight we celebrate your accomplishments. Hey. You ready? Hey, grab that right there. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh. Is you ready? Ready. You say you ready. Oh. Whole squad ready. Ready. Is you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Ready? Is you ready? Whole squad ready. We came here to see Jet. What you got? No, no, no. Not on my watch. No way. Bring what you got. I'm going to the top. You can bring what you got. I'm going to the top. Bring what you got. Bring what you got. I'm going to the top. I'm going to the top. It sounds like you're ready. And we're going to start this first portion of the evening recognizing the hard work you put in away from the playing field. That's in the weight room, of course, with sports nutrition and also in the community. We want to recognize those that are laying the foundation for success through their personal discipline, even when no one is looking. Our first awards of the evening will be given to each team's strength and conditioning athlete of the year. Selected by each team's strength coach, this award goes to the student athlete that unquestionably embodies the standards, morals, and principles that our department stands for. They must be hardworking, consistent, mentally and physically tough, and a model for fellow teammates to emulate. It's not all about the numbers, in fact. It's about the attitude, effort, leadership, and resolve they display daily in every aspect of their training. And helping present those awards tonight, please welcome from women's track and field, Paige Ritter, and from men's golf, Connor Burgess. The awards are 
Sports for Strength and Conditioning Athlete of the Year go to Baseball, Luke Horansky. Men's Basketball, Ahmed Hill and Ty Outlaw. Women's Basketball, Aaron Brooks. Football, Stephen Peoples. Men's Golf, Slade Pickering. Women's Golf, Amanda Hollinsworth. Men's Soccer, Mark Hopler. Women's Soccer, Lily Weber. Softball, Maddie Banks. Spirit, Cal Barlick and Maggie Brothers. Men's Swimming and Diving, Ben Chisel. Women's Swimming and Diving, Sydney Pacetti. Men's Tennis, Jason Claus. Women's Tennis, Nika Kozar. Men's Track and Field, Michael Davenport. Women's Track and Field, Kennedy Dennis. Volleyball, Talon Jackson. Lacrosse, MC Byrne. And from wrestling, Brooks Wilding. Congratulations to the Strength and Conditioning Athletes of the Year. and running and lifting, I suppose, in their case. Here at Virginia Tech, our student athletes are fortunate to be fueled to their peak performance thanks to the sports nutrition staff. It's time for our sports nutrition awards as selected by our Hokie Fuel staff. One to the female athlete of the year and one to the male athlete of the year. And here to present those awards tonight from volleyball, Abby McKenzie, and from men's swimming, Chris Outlaw. Hey, I'm just a kid. The winner of Sports Nutrition Female Athlete of the Year is Kelsey O'Donnell Lacrosse. As a nutrition captain this year, Hokie Fuel appreciates the leadership Kelsey has provided in a variety of areas, including sport, character, and health. She leads by example, encouraging teammates to take care of their bodies by establishing healthy nutrition habits and by taking advantage of nutrition services, including cooking classes, interactions with her dietitian, and the Oasis. Congratulations, Kelsey O'Donnell. The winner of Sports Nutrition Male Athlete of the Year is BC LaPrad. BC takes his nutrition to the next level and understands how it can positively impact his performance. He is always consistent with his post weigh in nutrition plan, hydration, and taking advantage of Pokey Fuel Services. Congratulations, BC LaFrag. Congratulations to our Nutrition Award winners and a guy rocking a pretty good cowboy hat. Congratulations to them both. And now an award by the very group that helped put together tonight's event, that is the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. SAC is a leadership group consisting of student athletes representing all of our teams here at Virginia Tech. Meeting regularly throughout the year, SAC works to positively impact the student athlete experience here at VT. We do want to take this time to pause and recognize this year's SAC executive team members, and those are from lacrosse, MC Byrne, from men's track and field, James Carver, from softball, Kinsey Johnson, and from volleyball, Jayla Tolbert. Please give all the Student Athlete Advisory Committee members a round of applause for all their work behind the scenes tonight and through the entire year. And now presenting the SAC Member of the Year Award from men's track and field, Jalen Demery, and from women's tennis, Nika Kozar. And the award for SAC Member of the Year goes to 
Kenzie Johnson from softball. A senior from Highland, Maryland, Kenzie Johnson has served as a softball sack representative for three years, serving on the executive team for the 2018-2019 year. During her senior year, Kenzie has led two SAC committees, the Adopt-A-Family Committee, which raised over $3,000 to purchase Christmas gifts for local families, and most recently, she has spearheaded the Gobblers Committee, which led to the planning of tonight's pre-show and entertainment. Congratulations, Kenzie. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say thank you, everyone. If you know me, you know I love SAC. I've been a part of it for the past three years. And it's been such an honor to be a part of an organization dedicated to making a better experience for each and every one of you out there. So thank you to all of my fellow SAC members. Thank you to my exec team, Jayla, James, and MC. And thank you to our advisors, Natalie and Shelby. Um, they put up with me coming in playing Cardi B at 9 o'clock in the morning, so I appreciate it. And last, thank you to all of you because you make all of the work fun and all of it worth it. Worth it. So thank you and go Hokies. Congratulations again to Kinsey, but we do have to take a moment right now because we've got a shout out to give. And that goes to our entire softball team as they continued their record-breaking season by clinching the ACC Coastal Division title yesterday. It's the first time in school history. Congratulations, softball. All right. To round out our first set of awards, we'll move on to the ACC Top Six for Service Awards. Each year, the ACC honors student athletes on each campus for their outstanding dedication to service. At Virginia Tech, with our motto of Ut Prosum, student athletes completed over 4,000 community outreach hours just this academic year. Volunteering with organizations such as the Roanoke Carillion Children's Hospital, Montgomery County Christmas Store, and many schools throughout the NRV. Tonight, we honor those who have fully embraced our university motto and have dedicated countless hours to serving the community selflessly. Presenting those awards tonight, from women's swimming, Erin Scott, from women's soccer, Lily Weber, from lacrosse, Kendall Welch, and from the high techs, Abby Gay. The ACC Top Six for Service Award goes to Olivia Odell, women's soccer. Abby McKenzie, volleyball. Amanda Swag, women's cross country. Sarah Spicer, women's golf. Jalen Thompson, women's soccer. And the women's tennis team. Accepting the award tonight for women's tennis is Nika Kozar. Sarah Spicer was unable to be with us tonight as she prepares for the U.S. Women's Open Qualifier this week. Congratulations to all of our top six for service recipients. Now, please direct your attention to the screens for an outreach spotlight on the women's tennis team. So at the Children's Hospital, we went around uh, to about 32 of the patients, from all from infants that were just born up into the age of 17. Um, talked with them, went inside the rooms. We had stuffed animals for some of the, the younger children. We had some tennis t-shirts and some tennis balls. and just spent time with the patients and their families, you know, to go in there and just spend time with them through some of their tough moments as well. Um, really gave back to us probably more than we gave to them. But... When we engage with children, like how, what impact this has on them, it's just amazing to see. Like, and obviously we are following a uh, school's model with ProSims. That's kind of cool that you can like, give back to the community because they do so much for us. I give a lot of credit to our student athletes. Um, you know, we, we've got quite a few on our team that have seen it as a really important thing that they wanted to do this year and 
to continue on, especially as members of our, of our program. With Habitat for Humanity, probably the most major part that we did was they were digging big holes for the, the columns and the porch pillars, and then some went inside the house to help with the electrical outlets. Um, they did some cleaning up, uh, just all different kind of tasks. One family came to look at the progress, and they were really happy about it. So just seeing their faces and just like knowing that we are doing something good and that we are helping others, like it was all worth it. Just going out and interacting and really giving back. Um, I think so much is given to us as individuals and you know here as, as student athletes and part of the athletic department. I think it's been really important as a Hokie and part of our you know school motto and a prism to to give back and to you know make sure that we're not just taken, but, <laughs> but making sure that we're staying involved in the community too and, and um, serving our role and making sure that we can make a difference in the lives of others as well. Thank you to our women's tennis team for providing an example of what it truly means to be a Hokie. And our next award is along the same lines as we present the Frank Beamer Staff Excellence Award. That highlights one athletic staff member that has the drive to positively impact our student athletes and move Virginia Tech athletics forward to reach excellence. In honor of former head coach Frank Beamer and his 29 years of service to the Hokies, the nominees for this award are committed to integrity, respect, passion, hard work, selflessness, and humility. Presenting the Frank Beamer Staff Excellence Award tonight, from cheerleading, Matt Madrazo, and from lacrosse, MC Byrne. <laughs> The Frank Beamer Staff Excellence Award goes to Casey Underwood, Facilities. Assistant Athletics Director for Outside Facilities, Casey Underwood has served the Virginia Tech Department of Athletics for over 20 years. When asked to describe Casey's dedication and service to this department, Supervisor Tom Gabbard says, Casey always approaches situations with a positive attitude, seeking ways to make it happen and then make it better. He consistently seeks out ways to make the lives of those around him easier and truly embodies the values of the Virginia Tech Athletics Department. For all that he does for Virginia Tech. Congratulations once again to Casey Underwood. We now shift our program to the iconic silver and gold gobbler statues for awards that were voted on by coaches, sports information staff, and student athlete advisory committee. We'll kick it off with the gobbler for sports moment of the year. It's amazing to see what our student athletes and teams can do to inspire us all, and this award honors just that. An inspirational and memorable performance on or off the playing surface. And presenting the award tonight, from softball, Olivia Latin, and from men's track and field, James Carver. I know shorty and she doesn't want no slow so Had a man last year, life goes on Haven't let the thing lose, girl, it's so long The nominees for sports moment of the year are Lacrosse for their record-setting 2018 season Caleb Farley, football for overcoming adversity on and off the field Women's golf for their first NCAA appearance in just the third season of the program. The gobbler for sports moment of the year goes to Caleb Farley, football. After missing his entire freshman regular season in 2017 due to a knee injury during preseason camp, Caleb Farley lost his mother to cancer in January 2018. The cornerback made a remarkable recovery on and off the field during the 2018 season, earning ACC Defensive Back of the Week honors, and was named a nominee for the 2018 Capital One Orange Bowl Courage Award and an honorable mention pick for the Mayo Clinic Comeback Player of the Year teammates. Award. Your Sports Moment of the Year, Caleb Farley. Appreciate all my teammates, my friends. Uh, thank you for this, and uh, all my fellow Hokies. Congratulations once again to Caleb Farley as we advance now to the Gobbler for Breakthrough Performance of the Year. 
This award goes to a student athlete who has increased his or her athletic performance dramatically from one season to the next. And presenting that award tonight from softball, Kinsey Johnson, and from football, Tyrell Smith. Back, like I never left. I never left. Another sprint, another step, another step, another day, another day. The nominees for Breakthrough Performance of the Year are Christo Strickler, men's soccer. Sarah Fricks, women's cross country. Darby Troll, softball. The Gobbler for Breakthrough Performance of the Year goes to Darby Troll. Troll, who only had two hits in April and May of last year, has exploded for 55 hits, seven home runs, and 35 RBIs this season. She owns a 410 batting average, a dramatic increase from her 233 average last season, which is currently the fourth best clip in the ACC. Let's hear it for the breakthrough performance of the year, Darby Troll. Congratulations once again to Darby and again to softball on all of their accomplishments already on this still record-setting season. Hokie teams have accomplished so much this year, including softball, and we want to take the time to highlight some individuals that have not only performed to their own peak, but have outperformed all previous Hokies and etched their name in history of Virginia Tech athletics. Turn your attention, please, to the screens. We take a look at some Hokie legends in the making. pages from a magazine been looking for the answer ever since we were 17 you know the truth can be a weapon to fight this world of ill intentions you will answer to the same question how many times will you learn the same lesson I think they got it all wrong we just got all Tolbert, two kills early in the first set. Point tack. Side to Garrity, spins against it, he attacks left block, layup goes good. Ancient scary, it's about to be legendary. Foot. 
front of the net. Quaffy sweeps the game for Virginia Tech. Two receivers left, moving to the right. It's a handoff to Peoples right through the middle. Yeah, let's keep it going for all of our Hokie legends. One more big round for all of our legends in the making here in Blacksburg. And now, special entertainment for the evening. And helping present that entertainment, please welcome to the stage from softball, Kinsey Johnson, and from football, Jacob Van Landingham. we have a special performance to highlight the many talents we as student athletes have outside of our sport. Student Athlete Advisory Committee is proud to showcase this live performance. Please join us in welcoming to the stage from women's soccer vocalist S.A. Phillips. And playing the keys and serving as musical director from football, T.J. Jackson. How y'all doing? Uh, uh, I, that wasn't good enough for me. How was y'all? How y'all doing? Uh, oh yeah. Um, I appreciate y'all having us. And the first song we're gonna do today is "Make You Feel My Love" by Adele. i mm -hmm. 
Thank you, thank you. So this next song is a little more high up tempo. So I'm gonna ask you guys to stand up and just clap along to the beat that TJ's got for us. It's gonna be really fun, I promise. So just, if you guys can come along and just get hyped. So just clap along. Now I know you know this song, so don't even act like you don't know this song. I think you guys are ready to make a little bit more noise. How about it one more time for SA and TJ? How fantastic was that, everybody? All right, we thank SA and TJ, truly extraordinary talents, and we now take things back to our awards. 
And next up is the Gobbler for best game. And the nominees in this category are all deserving, but we're looking for the absolute best competition performance of the year. Presenting that award tonight from women's soccer, Caroline Sapola, and from men's cross country, Peter Seufer. Nominees for best game are. Football defeats Virginia in overtime to keep the Commonwealth Cup. Lacrosse defeats number 17 Virginia. Men's basketball defeats number three Duke. Men's soccer defeats number 16 Notre Dame. The gobbler for the best game goes to football. The Hokies continue their domination over UVA, extending Tech's streak of Commonwealth Cup victories to 15 straight. After the lunch pail defense held UVA to a field goal with under three minutes remaining, Tech proceeded to orchestrate a game-tying touchdown drive before winning the contest by a 34-31 margin in overtime. Accepting the award for football is Dalton King and Hakeem and Trey Turner. Put your hands together for this year's best game. Congratulations to football, and I know one year from tonight we'll be sitting here and we'll be talking about 16 straight. Isn't that right, Dax? Let me hear you, Dax. That's right. 16 straight. He's right over here. Congratulations once again to football. What a win it was over the Hoos. That was a great feeling, and one of the best feelings in sports is putting on a performance that shocks the world, or at least Hokie Nation. I'm talking about stunning the opposition, silencing the haters, and delivering that critical upset. Presenting the gobbler for this year's best upset from volleyball, Jayla Tolbert, and from men's soccer, Christo Strickler. The nominees for best upset are Women's basketball upsets number 14 Miami. Women's soccer upsets number six Virginia. Softball upsets number eight Georgia. The gobbler for best upset goes to women's soccer. The Hokies battle the number six Cavaliers through rain, an hour lightning delay, and soggy conditions over the final 16 minutes to pull off a 1-0 victory in ACC action at Thompson Field. The victory marked the team's first win over a ranked opponent since 2015 and first win over a top 10 team since 2013. Accepting the award tonight from women's soccer is Aliyah Abu El Hawa, Jordan Hemmen, and Kelsey Irwin. This year's best upset, women's soccer. Congratulations once again to women's soccer pulling off that Virginia Tech upset. On the same emotional level as an upset, perhaps there is no greater feeling than witnessing a team or individual rise to the occasion and win a championship for the Hokies. The gobbler for championship performance of the year goes to an extraordinary postseason performance, either in an ACC or NCAA championship competition. Presenting that award tonight from football, James Mitchell, and from women's tennis, Mackenzie Collins. The nominees for championship performance of the year are Esther Binock, women's track and field for her record setting 2018 postseason performances. Men's track and field, co ACC indoor champions. 
Makai Lewis, NCAA Wrestling National Champion. The gobbler for championship performance of the year goes to Makai Lewis, wrestling. Competing in the finals at 165 pounds at his first NCAA wrestling championships, redshirt freshman Makai Lewis knocked off the two-time defending national champion of Penn State with a convincing 7-1 decision. His performance at the NCAA tournament culminated in him earning the championship's most outstanding wrestler honor in addition to bringing home the national championship title. Put your hands together for Virginia Tech Wrestling's first national champion, Makai Lewis. Congratulations, Makai. Don't worry. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a little bit more of him as our award show goes along tonight. Virginia Tech teams are full of outstanding athletes, but there always seems to be one individual that rises above and is that game changer for the Hokies. Tonight, we recognize each team's most valuable player, but we do it in a unique way. We asked each MVP to talk about someone who had made a significant impact on their career, their most valuable player. Before we roll the video, though, please welcome to the stage our presenters from women's cross country, Michaela Richardson, and from athletic training, Marley Trone and Will Elson. Reagan Mitchell is my MVP because she's always been there for me and our connection on the court was amazing. My MVP is my dad because he's always so supportive of me and my family. Coach Pomonti is my MVP. There's no one else I'd rather compete for. My dad has always supported me over the past four years. My dad is my MVP. He always believed in me. He always provided. My MVP is my dad. No matter how far a game is, I can always count on him being there. My parents are my MVP. They're always there to support me every step of the way. My MVP is my strength coach, Andrew Stone. He is my MVP because he's the kind of person you never want to disappoint because you know he'll never disappoint you. My MVP is my dad. He's my MVP because Regardless of how well I play, he's always there and trying to help me improve. My parents are my MVPs because they always support me in the small things, whether it pertains to running or in the small things in my life. My MVP is my dad because he supports me through thick and thin. No matter what I'm going through, he's always there for me. My parents are my MVP because they're the most influential people in my life. They're both very self-motivated and hardworking, and it really rubs off on me. My MVPs are my parents. If it weren't for their selflessness and unconditional love and support, I wouldn't be the woman or player that I am today. My MVP is Ron Pamonte because he would do anything for anyone and he has been such a great role model. Uh, Rachel Camp is my MVP. Uh, I chose her because she's my best friend and she's been through so much and uh, through everything she's been through, she still made sure that I was okay and pushed me to get better every day. My MVP is my sister Megan. Uh, she always makes me laugh. We're obsessed with the same things and she's always there for me no matter what. My coach is my MVP because he always believes in me and pushes me to new limits. My MVP is my coach, Perrin. Perrin's my MVP because she's taught me so much and she's given me so many opportunities to learn and grow. My dad is my MVP because he's always supported me. My MVP is my dad. He is a very hardworking man and very intelligent and he always influenced me throughout my whole life. My MVP would be my dad. He really taught me how to play the game of golf and he was a college player as well and I learned a lot from him. Coach Andrew Dubs is my MVP because he's given me many opportunities to show what I can do on and off the track. My MVPs are my parents. They're at every game for me and are always supporting me on and off the field. My MVP is the Virginia Tech basketball program. I just want to thank everybody, um, my teammates, coaches, and the Hokie Nation. Thank you so much. Please join me as they exit the stage with a big round of applause for all of our team MVPs.
Congratulations once again to all of our most valuable players. As one of the toughest conferences in the country, the ACC is tough competition for any athlete, but it is a truly unique challenge for a newcomer. Tonight, we recognize a Hokie in their first year of competition that did not miss a beat during their rookie campaign and made an immediate impact for their team. We'll start with the gobbler for male rookie of the year, presenting the award tonight from women's track and field, Kennedy Dennis, and from men's golf, Tom Crow. The nominees for Male Rookie of the Year are... Antoni Ivanov, Men's Swimming. Ja'Cory Patterson, Men's Track and Field. Makai Lewis, Wrestling. The gobbler for male rookie of the year goes to Makai Lewis. Makai Lewis's redshirt freshman season was one of the best rookie campaigns in school history. Lewis ended the 2018-2019 season with an ACC championship, ACC Wrestler of the Year honors, a junior world title, the NCAA Championship's Most Outstanding Wrestler Award, and an NCAA championship, the first in Virginia Tech's wrestling program's history. Ladies and gentlemen, your male rookie of the year, Makai Lewis. Congratulations once again to Makai, certainly a fitting Rookie of the Year. Now we switch over to the women's side for the best newcomer from our women's sports, the female Rookie of the Year. And presenting that award tonight from cheerleading, Emily Santos, and from wrestling, Cody Hughes. The nominees for female Rookie of the Year are... Dara Mabry, women's basketball. Kelsey Bennett, softball. Emily Gray, women's soccer. The gobbler for female rookie of the year goes to Dara Mabry, women's basketball. Mabry started every game for the Hokies and was the team's third leading scorer at over 11 points per game. The freshman sharpshooter led the conference in three-point shooting percentage and was among the nation's leaders in that category. Mabry holds the program record for three-pointers made in a single season and was named an ACC All-Freshman Team Performer. Your Female Rookie of the Year, Dara Mabry. Congratulations once again to both of our Rookies of the Year, Makai Lewis and Dara Mabry. We're now entering the final four awards of the evening, and much like March Madness, this is where the competition is the best of the best. The nominees for Athlete of the Year and Golden Gobbler are the top student athletes across all of our Virginia Tech programs, in and out of their respective sports. We'll start with Athletes of the Year to recognize one male and one female who have led their team to notable athletic success throughout the season. Presenting the gobbler for Male Athlete of the Year, from men's swimming, Aaron Boyd, and from women's cross country, Amanda Swack. Hey, look, my man. Hey, look, my man. The nominees for Male Athlete of the Year are... Christo Strickler, men's soccer. Peter Seufer, men's cross country. Makai Lewis, wrestling. Nikhil Alexander Walker, men's basketball. The gobbler for male athlete of the year goes to Makai Lewis. 
Makai Lewis, a redshirt freshman, finished the year with a record of 28-2 to help the Hokies finish in the top 11 at the NCAA Championships for the seventh consecutive season. He ended the season as an ACC champion, ACC Wrestler of the Year, a Junior World Champion, the NCAA Championships Most Outstanding Wrestler, and an NCAA Champion. Accepting his fourth award tonight, another round of applause for Makai Lewis. Happy birthday, Makai. Uh, I just want to say go Hoagies, and I love the wrestling team and my teammates, and I, can't, I couldn't do this without them, so I'm shouting them out and thanking them. So thank you. Congratulations once again to Makai. We actually are strongly considering renaming the awards the Mackays rather than the Gobblers for next year. We'll see what the Encore has in store. Congratulations again, though, to Mackay. Now on to the women's side. And here to present the Gobbler for Female Athlete of the Year from volleyball, Marissa Serco, and from men's soccer, James Kasak. The nominees for Female Athlete of the Year are Taylor Emery, women's basketball. Mandy McGlynn, women's soccer. Paige Petty, lacrosse. Rachel Pokratsky, women's track and field. Gobbler for Female Athlete of the Year goes to Rachel Pokratsky, women's track and field. In her senior season, Rachel Pokratsky won two gold medals at the 2019 ACC Indoor Championships. Her two performances contributed to the women's track and field team finishing third at the ACC Indoor Championships. Moving on to NCAA Indoor Championships, Pokratsky won a bronze medal in the 800, earning her first team All-America honors. A round of applause for the Female Athlete of the Year, Rachel Pokratsky. I just want to say thank you to all the Hokies, especially my teammates and coaches, because they always push me to be better, so thank you. Congratulations once again to both Makai and Rachel. We are proud of our student athletes who shine not only on the playing field, but are also excellent representatives of Virginia Tech athletics outside of their sport. We recognize these individuals who are successful not only athletically, but have also excelled academically, have a service mindset, and a motivation to make a positive impact on others. Beyond the scope of athletics, these students exemplify passion, pride, leadership, sportsmanship, dedication, and commitment. Sponsored by the Virginia Tech Monogram Club, the Golden Gobbler is awarded to the student athlete that is the true definition of a Hokie. Presenting the male Golden Gobbler tonight, from lacrosse, Riley Reed, and from wrestling, Ryan Haskett. The male nominees for the Golden Gobbler are... Jalen Demery, men's track and field. Ian Ho, men's swimming. Dax Hollyfield, football. Justin Robinson, men's basketball. The Golden Gobbler goes to Justin Robinson. During his time at Virginia Tech, Justin Robinson has developed into a leader on and off the court who embodies the spirit of a Hokie. Prior to a mid-season injury, Robinson broke the program all-time assist record and was named ACC Player of the Week. Following his recovery, he returned to the court for the NCAA tournament and led the Hokies to the Sweet 16 for the first time in over 50 years. Robinson's dedication to the classroom has landed him on the All-ACC academic team twice in his career. Justin was unable to be with us tonight as he prepares for the NBA draft. 
Please direct your attention to the screen for a few words from the Golden Gobbler himself. Uh, sorry I couldn't be in attendance today. Um, just to end this ride, this journey with an award like this is such an honor. Um, I'm currently uh, working out for pre-draft stuff, so hopefully everything goes well. And I'll be back around the Blacksburg community soon. But once again, thank you. And sorry I couldn't be there, but I'm very glad and honored for this. And just at the end of the day, go Hokies. Congratulations to five, as we know them, well-deserved. And now for our final award of the evening, the female Golden Gobbler. And here to present that award from men's diving, Ben Chisel, and from women's swimming, Leah Rogers. <laughs> Nominees for the Golden Gobbler are Mary Claire Byrne, lacrosse, Jayla Tolbert, volleyball, Nika Kozar, women's tennis, Taylor Emery, women's basketball. And the Golden Gobbler goes to Jayla Tolbert. Throughout her career, Jayla has excelled on the court, in the classroom, and as a leader in the community. Not only did she earn a spot on Team USA during her final season as a Hokie, she surpassed the 1,000 kill mark, became a two-time second team All-ACC member, and two-time All-ACC academic team member. She also held her team's highest GPA in the fall, earning Virginia Tech All-Academic Team honors. During the 2018-19 school year, Jayla served as VT Student Athlete Advisory Committee President and represented the Atlantic Coast Conference on Division I SAC. Congratulations, Jayla. I wrote something. So. Um, so before coming to Virginia Tech, I truly had no idea the impact I'd be able to make on the court, in my community, and nationally. With that being said, I couldn't do it alone. I'd like to extend a thank you to Virginia Tech Athletics for the opportunity of a lifetime, SAS, Student Athlete Development, and SAC for helping me realize my potential beyond my sport. And most importantly, my coaches, team, and family for being the most incredible support system I could ever ask for. Thank you guys for an amazing four years, and go Hokies. Congratulations once again to both Jayla and Justin. That does conclude the award portion for the Gobblers this year, and we do want to collectively say congratulations once again to all of our nominees and our winners. And while we cannot begin to recognize each of them individually, please join me in a round of applause for all the behind-the-scenes staff that have put together this special evening for us. That includes Terrace View Apartments for sponsoring the pre-show, the wonderful Moss Arts Center staff, and behind-the-scenes athletic staff that coordinate this entire event, and of course, my man DJ, DJ Tempo. All right, please give all those folks a round of applause for making this happen tonight. All right, they hate when I do this, which is why I love doing it each and every year. The Virginia Tech Student Athlete Advisory Committee would like to ask their fearless leaders, Shelby Miller and Natalie Forbes, to come on out here because they want to present them with a small token of their appreciation for their leadership, support, and friendship throughout this academic year, and especially tonight. Let's give the biggest round of applause of the night for Natalie and Shelby, the advisors for Virginia Tech SAC, for all their hard work on tonight's event. Get out here. And now, as always, we'll close this outstanding evening with the All Sports Highlight Reel. I'm John Laser saying thank you all for this wonderful night. Travel home safely and go Hokies! Lately, I've been, I've been thinking, I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. When the morning comes and we see what we've become. 
In the cold light of day, we're a flame in the wind, not the fire that we begun. Every argument, every word we can't take back. Cause with all that has happened, I think that we both know the way that the story ends. Then only for a minute, I want to change my mind. Cause this just don't feel right to me. I want to raise your spirit. Oh, he's on the attack. Bloomer. Into the net. Rich Dope Sprinkler. I'm left there with my thoughts And the image of you being with someone else Well, it's eating me up inside But we ran our course We pretended we're okay Now if we jump together At least we can swim far away from the wreck we made Then only for a minute 